Hello, my name is Mike, and you join me in the 2020 mini John Cooper Works Countryman. So, what's new for the 2020 model year? Well, on the face of it, not a whole lot. And that is until you put your foot down. For the 2020 model year, the JCW Countryman gets a huge boost in power. Normally when auto manufacturers do a mid-cycle update, they give it maybe 20, 30 horsepower boost. But for the 2020 model year, the JCW Countryman gets over 70 horsepower compared to last year's model. It now produces 301 horsepower, up from about 228 from last year's model. The result is a 0 to 100 km an hour sprint in just 5.1 seconds. Not bad for a compact crossover SUV. Made it to the engine is an 8-speed automatic transmission, which does a relatively good job of shifting gears. Shifts in the normal drive mode are almost imperceivable, but in sport mode they are much more abrupt and faster. Power gets sent to all four wheels, but only when the computer detects slip on the front wheels. Yes, it is a front-wheel drive based system, and as such, torque steer can be felt at slow speeds or out of a tight corner. Steering feel is pretty good for the size of vehicle. Turning the wheel takes a bit more effort than in other competitors, but it definitely feels like a sporty crossover. The optional dynamic damper control keeps the body roll in check as it firms up the ride in sport mode, and it softens it in normal or green modes. And let's not overlook those massive four-piston front calipers. They stop the JCW Countryman on a dime, despite the almost 1800 kilogram curb weight. Although this is called a Mini, it's actually quite spacious on the inside. I'm 6 foot 4 and yet I have plenty of legroom, I can even move the seat further back. It's not power unfortunately. But loads of legroom, plenty of headroom, and I actually really love these seats, they really hold me in around corners. And also to my surprise, sitting behind myself, I actually do fit, I have just enough legroom and just enough headroom. The trunk measures at 17.6 cubic feet with the rear seats up and 47.6 cubic feet when they're folded. In terms of gadgets, it has pretty much everything that most people want in a compact crossover. Navigation, heated seats, heads up display, parking sensors, forward collision alert, power lift gate, and so on. There are a few things though that are missing that would be a nice addition to complete the overall package. These include like Android Auto, although CarPlay is available, a heated steering wheel and perhaps blind spot sensors. With a starting price of around 43,000 Canadian, the JCW Mini Countryman is pretty good value for the performance that you're getting. But this being a BMW product, the options list is extensive and expensive. This particular demo car has almost $10,500 in options. But if you're looking for a sporty crossover that you can also take the kids to school with, consider the base JCW Countryman. Add on one or two options and it won't break the bank and you'll be perfectly happy. Oh, and I also don't know why it says hashtag mini something something 2019 on the back. That's just how I got the car from mini. Anyway, if you want to know more about the 2020 Mini JCW Countryman, I wrote a detailed review of it over on mgreviews.com. You can find the link in the video description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next car.